Feature Friday. The freshest. So I have this idea for a podcast to do like K-pop Japanese releases. Mm -hmm. um, a Feature Friday podcast of that. And I thought we would check out today, um, given the fact of how popular these are. But we don't really check out much K-pop Japanese releases. And there's so many of them. I thought we'd check out what the top 50 most viewed Japanese releases of K-pop are. Uh, we'll go first with just girl groups. And then we'll probably do another video of boy groups. And then actually do the podcast with your uh, opinions and what you think are the best ones or the ones that deserve the most love. I'm sorry if there are cut or muted parts in the future, but the Japanese copyright is very strict. Relatability, hashtag relatable. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, wow, okay. What the fuck? They the record is, actual different versions yeah, of the song. Yeah, in, in Japanese, they do special, like, Twice, TXT, Dreamcatcher, there's a bunch of other groups that are super, super popular. They re-record their songs yes, just in Japanese. in Japanese, and they drop them. Sometimes they give them different versions and stuff. It's like, it's like nil exclusive content for Japan. Oh my god! How cool! See? What? Oh, yeah. they, what? They re record the video? Yeah. Yes, sir. Close up. Close up. Because that's Japanese. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Vivis is different. I know, friend. freaking, I'm so sorry. I should have, I, I, in oh, my I, mind, it was, I was right. He, yeah, you're always right, you're right. Uh, <laughs> to defend Walucha, she's fucking, uh, uh, her mind is not here at the moment. I am so sorry. I did mean to say G-Friend. I, like, I, I, that's not bring new knowledge yeah. to me. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's just a little at bit comments, off at the moment yeah. because she's a little bit injured. So she's a bit <laughs> off, genuinely very I'm off. So sorry. In every sense of that word. <laughs> So, uh, I didn't mean to offend anybody. I do know that they work very hard, both groups, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Gee, friends! This is new to me. I have never heard that. Never seen that. Do you see? Better in Japanese, they also bro. change outfits and everything. Uh, YG goes the extra mile, as in JYP. You know how they do like specific like content Songs for Japan. For Japan, uh, like usually they would reshoot the videos, the music videos, as they are released in Korea, and then uh, but in Japanese. But Blackpink has always done the extra thing, so like they would add an extra verse, or they would. That's why put that rap the Japanese version of how you like that. That's right. That's uh, right. It's different, so different too. I see. And then I, they I would like... change the concept of the music video itself and everything. It's like along the same lines, but it's a it's a brand new music video. It's just budget though. <laughs> Well, actually, twice would make sense because they have Japanese. Was it Momo's Japanese and the who else is Japanese? Is it Chewy? Is Chewy. It Chewy is Japanese? No, Chewy is Korean, right? Chewy is Korean. I don't know. I don't know. Please don't listen to any of my facts right now. <laughs> I got none. Uh, Momo Sana. Uh, Momo and Sana. And the. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's Nina just Momo and Sana. Has Japanese, Japanese American. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's what it was. Okay. Sorry. I wanna know. 
Tahu nak? <laughs> I just see that fan cam. Yeah. It sounds actually sounds a bit like Titi actually. Just like Titi. Ooh. No, it doesn't. What's that song that sounds a bit like that? Doesn't. I don't know what. I'm not gonna ask you actually. Yeah, you get, don't you ask get everything wrong. I'm getting everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Japanese sounds. Oh, cool. Can we have a moment for like how girls generation? Oh, I wanna hear I wanna hear all of Jap twice the songs in Japanese. There are albums. There are albums. Really? There are albums. Oh, let me know if that's a good idea for a podcast. I'll be more than down. Yeah. Me like it. Because I I like a lot. I mean, it's no secret because we check out a lot of Japanese <laughs> music as well, but it's like I love how Japanese sounds. Yes. You know yes, what I mean? I agree. Oh my God. Why, why would anyone play fucking Hello. Crockett? It's Polo, no? Croquet. Cro Cro I don't know. I forget what it's called. <laughs> Probably Polo. Yeah. It's not cricket, by the way. Damn, twice this. And they pulled big views as well. Yeah, right? listen, this show was so big. It's just Girls' Generation freaking supremacy. They were also very big. Huh? Yeah. Generation for so many reasons, though. Okay, now young with short hair like that. Oh my god! Oh my oh, god! Wow! wow. 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 No, the choreo. Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> See, I do think Twice is gonna be in like the top three for sure. Oh, girl generation, right? Kara, nice. We we'll go check him out. So, are, are Twice the most popular K-pop group in Japan? So right I, now? I think they, I think they are. Yeah. <laughs> you think, would presume, right? Given this, I think I read something about it. They pull some big numbers. <laughs> yeah, like bro. Oh, I remember watching this by accident. I was like, what? They are wow. Oh, freaking cool! It's the outfits, bro. Yeah, I knew they were gonna be top, top three. If not number one, now that I think about it. You see that? Someone could do a good mashup of that, bro. Yeah. Genuinely, like, sure that's a good remix. Bro, yeah. they are fucking banging so in, in Japan. 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 <laughs> oh, look at that. It's Girls' yeah, Generation I, number one. I did think like Girls' Generation was going to be in the top three. How many millions? What? what 135. How? Wow. Uh, biggest K-pop group in, in Japan. Japan. Let's see what the internet says. The internet's never wrong. Monster X Shiny. Monster no, the X. No, ten top ten K-pop groups in Japan. You should check out. Oh, it's just okay. some random. Come on. Let's see the Give top the ten facts. most popular. Let's have a look here. Uh, it's twenty twenty two. What's that? 
K-pop idols are popular with all age groups and are highly recognized in Japan. Recently, the list of top 10 idol artists voted by Japanese teens were revealed. Okay. Number one, BTS. Number, number two, two, twice. twice. Okay. Number three, 17. So lots of uh, boy groups. And Treasure. And then girl groups, Twice and Itzy. Wow, look at that. So JYP still kicks ass. In, uh... Still kicks butt. And then Ghost Generation. So SM was doing well. In Japan. Really well. well, SM was doing that whole thing, like, you know, they had subdivisions for uh, Japan, they had subdivisions for China, they they did that it's, really early It's on. interesting that NCT doesn't have a sub a Japanese subdivision, right? Given the fact that they're subdivision kings. Correct! Yeah. They do have a Chinese subdivision, though, yeah. Wavy, Wavy, right? Yeah. So, yeah, why, why do not they Japanese? have Japanese? Yeah, I think maybe because... I, I do think they do drop Japanese, Japanese stuff. really specials like only for Japan. Yes, the so, Japanese ballads are banging. Yeah, yeah. Well, here, here's a question yeah. then. Um, because are they are, are all the music videos different? Are like do they do they specifically just make music for Japan? I would love to do this for a podcast. I think it's a good idea. This is a great and idea. I have so also, many questions. Think about the numbers. That's just music videos. Yeah. Think about the streams, bro. Think about the sales, bro. And the streams, like wow. streaming wise, Twice is kicking ass. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I did have a feeling that they were like. I think I read somewhere that they were like the most popular group, girl in Japan. group in Japan. Yeah. Well, let us know what you guys uh, think about this. And uh, if you like the idea of the podcast, we will do it. Goodbye.